A fight with a St. Louis police officer. This is newly released surveillance video of the brawl. You can see the altercation between the officer and a customer at the bottom right hand part of your screen. Tonight, News 4 is talking to the man who was involved in that alleged assault. It took place Thursday at Crown Food Mart at Vanda Venner and Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. Only News 4's Emma Hogue spoke with a clerk who witnessed that brawl. Brian Boyle tells me he goes to that convenience store every day, but this trip is one he'll never forget. He recalls that moment being hit over and over in the head with handcuffs. And tonight he tells me it all started when he asked a simple question. I just wanted him to point me in the right direction. That's it. And he, he went a whole nother direction. A trip to a convenience store leads to punches allegedly thrown by a St. Louis City police officer. New video shows the confrontation Brian Boyle says he can't shake. It was very disturbing for the simple fact I haven't done anything wrong but asked one simple question. Boyle says he's always considered a career in law enforcement. So when he found himself at the checkout line with an officer, he asked him this. What are you? That's all I asked him because I was interested in doing like private security, like private bodyguard work. He says the officer seemed offended and the two started arguing, but it wasn't until Boyle grabbed the drink he paid for that matters escalated. It was unnecessary. Video shows the officer trying to handcuff Boyle. When he resisted, the officer got aggressive, repeatedly hitting Boyle in the face. That's when he started beating me in my face with his handcuffs around his fist. The clerk working at the time didn't want her face shown, but tells News 4 the officer overreacted on another level. He got physically abusive. When he, he started to tell the customer, turn around and put, you know, turn around and put your hands behind your back. And the customer, at that point, the customer kept asking for what? When blood leaking down my face after he hit me with the handcuffs. Boyle was treated for cuts on his face, but he says the emotional pain of this video still haunts him. When I look at it, it kind of made me emotional for the simple fact, like, what did I do to him? But he says this trip to the convenience store inspires him to join the police force now more than ever. You know, There's people out here that actually want to protect their people, not harm their people. It should never happen. Emma Hogue, News 4.